Ava Marcel, y'all remember her? I made a video about her and her divorce, right? Well, apparently she's not looking too well. She's lost a, she's lost some weight and people are saying that she's not looking healthy. And this is after her divorce. Um, I didn't think Ava was chubby before, but she looks like, you know, she's not, you know, she's trying to get that. I don't know that, that Hollywood model, not Hollywood model, that mainstream model look. And, uh, you know, she's looking a, a little, a little on the frail side, right? Let's get into this article. Marcel slimmed down appearance has left fans worried about her well-being. The real housewives of Atlanta alum took to Instagram, uh, Wednesday to share a three-sided carousel of herself modeling a chic sitting atop a counter and striking various poses. Marcel, who's 38, paired a sleeky black bold top. I don't give a shit what she's wearing. Uh, she sported a little to no makeup and styled her, um, I guess her outfit. Uh, let me skip through some of this. Uh, social media users immediately began expressing concern over Marcel's emaciated look with many wondering whether something is wrong and a few arguing that she needs about 10 more pounds or this is how she look y'all. So you tell me if there's something wrong there. Y'all look at these photos. Does she look like, you know, she's not eating? You know, she's trying to get that model look. This could be her strategy for dating. Maybe she, she wants to attract a man that uh, looks smaller. A man that likes a woman that looks smaller. Excuse me. Uh, let's see. Is she okay? Why does she look so sick? Why does she look sick? Uh, she looks not well. Losing too much weight. She probably took that Ozempic. What's that shot called? Ozempic. Her face looks gaunt and hollow. Ozempic. What's wrong with Ava? We're just some of the remarks that followed. But several people defended the mother of three who filed for divorce from her husband, Michael Mike Sterling, in March after less than five years of marriage. That's her again, y'all. She is looking skinny. Wow. <laughs> he definitely must have took a couple of them Ozempic shots, man. She looks stressed. I'm sure the divorce is wearing her down. One uh, observed as another sympathizer added, Lord, whatever Ava is going through, please help guide her and her children. We're losing way too many of us too soon see again this is why filing for divorce is not always the best option ava was with a man that adopted her children adopted her child that she had with another man and was raising them as if they were his own and what does he get for it? He gets divorced. He gets the, you know, he gets divorced. And now people are saying, well, she looks like she's going through it. It's more of her. She looks like she could be Ava's sister, not Ava herself. Listen, there's nothing wrong with being thin a uh, woman being petite, but you usually have people who've been petite their whole life. They don't go from being small to being petite like that too much, right? Before disabling the comments beneath the upload, the America's Next Top Model Cycle 3 winner replied with, uh, I guess, a heart you know, emoji to someone who reminded critics, please remember Chadwick Bozeman and watch what you say showing love is easier than spewing negativity given that the black panther star who passed away in august of 2020 
following noticeable weight loss amid a secret battle with cancer. A few skeptics ask, okay, so is she saying she has cancer? I'm confused. Right, like, you can't hide behind Chad with Bozeman. I'm sorry. If you have an illness, I understand that. It's, it's not our business what her health is. But when you go through noticeable weight changes, all she has to do is say, I'm, I'm eating differently, I'm working out differently. But for her to like a comment about Chadwick Bozeman, I just don't think that's in the, because all you do is add speculation. That's all you're doing. You're adding more speculation on top of what's, what's going on. But Marcel did not outwardly address questions surrounding her health. Instead, she shared a cryptic quote that read, my mom once said, everyone in your life will have a last day with you and you don't even know when it will be literally felt that. So again, what are you trying to say? Are you having health issues? Again, I'm not saying it's our business, but I mean, if you're looking noticeably different and if this is a, if it's a, a lifestyle change, let's say that, you know, you're working out your workouts or the way that you eat, maybe your calories are lower and your body is just reacting to, to losing weight, you know, that way right then people be like oh okay you know that's a workout regimen that's... but when you're losing again it could be those 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 if it's very popular someone then comment beneath with uh, beneath the sentiment why you turn off the comments on your last post the pick is nice to which all the queens men star responded too many people to block when everyone is saying horrible things about you i'd rather not see it because it hurts But as one fan pointed out, to expect people not to comment on an obvious change in appearance is unrealistic. Now, being mean and aggressive with it is undeserving and unnecessary. The whole mind your business and leave people alone statements are more cringe than the rude ones because if celebrities wouldn't post their business, there wouldn't be comments at all. I, absolutely, I agree with that. I agree with that. Celebs, you have to pick your poison. It comes along with the territory. She's not actively modeling, so her extreme weight loss is noticeable and concerning. Just don't be mean about it. I agree. Stop going in people's comment sections being mean to them. I think I've told y'all that. Being mean to people in the comment section is dumb to me. It really is. You can criticize. Nothing wrong with critique. But to call them names is just stupid. It's low vibrational, very low vibrational. Listen, I don't know what's going on with her, but it's it's not good. It, it, it's not good. And I, I think that people are going to have questions. There's nothing wrong with questions. There's nothing wrong with looking at a situation saying that something about that isn't right. Something about that isn't right. And um, here we are. Here we are. Now, I wanted to address this because it seemed like she was blocking people on social media because she probably feels like people are being mean to her. But no, people notice your weight change, you know. And again, I think this was her before the weight loss. I think this was her before the weight loss. When you go from this to how you look now, it's going to be very noticeable because, again, you're 38 years old. You're going through a divorce. I don't even think divorce has been finalized yet. People want to know if you're okay, because listen, if people were, if people were genuinely, if they didn't support you, they would ignore it. You got a lot of people who are fake. You have a lot of people who aren't going to tell you the truth. They're going to lie to you. I, I wouldn't want people around me. That's going to lie to me. If you see something that's bothering you, then say it as long as you're being respectful about it. But it's clear to me that her fans see that there's a problem and they just want to address it with her. And, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. They care about her. If they didn't care about her, they wouldn't bring it up. They just act like, you know, everything is all right. If those people support you, they're going to want to know what's going on and they're going to want to know if everything is okay. And I, I have no problem with that. They should care. 
Because if nobody cares, then that's a problem. And I'm, I'm pretty sure she wouldn't like it if people just ignored her problems and act like everything was okay, right? I mean, celebrities, they do. They do put a lot of their information out here. They really do.